Hello guys, welcome to another video. So, as I said before, I wanted to do uh, my sort of view on this patch. So a video to kind of discuss some of the issues that people are having. And I think uh, they're warranted, so what I'll just do is I've got a couple points to discuss. This is not going to touch on every single aspect. Uh, there's a lot that was changed, which I think is a little bit too much, which is sort of the reason why people are struggling with the patch a bit. Uh, if things rolled out slowly, then it'd be easy to sort of accept that, um, you know, as things change, you know, every couple of weeks, one little bit comes different, another little bit comes in, uh, we can sort of take it in slowly, discuss what's best for each aspect and then move on. But right now people are feeling very conflicted uh, sort of what to do in certain areas because no one knows exactly what it is and everyone's trying to sort and understand everything out at the same time. But what that results in is that those that are maybe a bit more casual or not willing to spend the time to look through everything are very sort of worried about certain things, not able to see the bigger picture in some cases. Um, but a lot of this, uh, a lot of the points that people make are warranted. I feel like it, as, it's, as it sits right now, there's a lot of things that are, uh, as we're finding out slowly, maybe a little too, uh, a little worse than they really should be. Um, I feel like, uh, yeah, I'm, 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 before I start discussing some of this stuff, I'll just start with a list I made. Again, I have a list on my left, so I'll go through that very slowly. And if everything is not covered and it won't be, um, you know, add it in the comments or, or whatever, or just think in your head that that's another aspect. But um, some of the big things that stand out to me personally going through the patch and sort of understanding some things that changed, um, we'll, we'll talk about those mostly. So things uh, that I looked at is uh, runes at first. So runes got considerably worse, I think. Uh, not the rune itself. I think the runes are good. Some of them are more diverse. That's fair. That's fine. Um, however, I feel like I went from a stage where I was generally okay. So a lot of my runes for my uh, high up characters were purple. Uh, I only had one legendary, so that's fair. But they basically were at the max level that they could be. Uh, there was nothing for me to go further with them. All I really had to do is save up my purples to get legendaries and a sort of sort of wait and progress and. Uh, now it feels like after this um, change, I feel like the compensation is nowhere near where it should be. I know that the floor, the, like sort of the ceiling for runes improved. Like they can get stronger than they used to be, uh, which is good. However, when you go from being in a, a generally okay spot to then suddenly all your runes are thrown into into just not being as good, it, it feels really bad. So. Um, because these runes were given out, uh, basically, it feels like it was at random, and if it wasn't, maybe some runes were changed, and they gave us the equivalent of that rune, but the effect also changed, so this used to be leech, now it's all about burning, so the fact that I have a, um, you know, a, a burning rune, okay, that's fine, uh, debuffs are perfectly reasonable, um, but, you know, it's not like the leech rune stayed, and why give me this, and not the ability to also reroll? Uh, that hit a lot of people quite hard. So as you see, my Lino has a level 16 legendary rune, uh, which is a tank rune, which is fine. I think it's it's a great rune to have on him. Uh, it's a shield for health, which isn't as strong as maybe some other runes could be. But as it stands for now, he's got a maxed out rune, right? So I replaced my one legendary rune for another legendary rune. And both of them are okay, right? But as soon as I've done that, I leveled up this rune, right? which is increasing your allies attack which i think is not a bad rune for a support uh, she heals plenty fine i don't think she needs loads of healing uh, anymore i think this is a good little boost to everybody but now what do i do right like what i have no experience to level up any other rune i can unlock the attributes sort of slowly however the rune itself now is just underpowered and, and i don't have the experience and i feel like going from the stage where i was to the stage where i am now it just doesn't feel like i've made a good transition if the runes down the line are eventually stronger and you slowly take your time and you level them up that's fair right i understand that if, if the end goal is there but um one of the things is um 
I don't think this is where my runes would be if I was playing with this system for two months. I feel like I would be further, and that's the sort of thing that you want to address, is that making it where people that have been playing for an extended period of time, some people are three months, some people are a year on their account, their runes should be equivalent to playing for a, re for a year. And if you're telling me that, that runes, the runes that people like Appans have is what you would have after playing the game for a year, that is abysmal in terms of currency. Right? That means that you can. it's going to take you months and months and months to even get a one character with two legendary runes, which is just worse than it was before. And I feel like um, even purples, like purples are strong runes. It's a strong tier. It should be strong. It, it, you know, everyone has to have legendaries. But it means even for these purples, you can't get them to the next stage as easily. So I feel like that needs changing. We need better compensation. Uh, we need the dust amounts to go up in certain things. And I understand that Abyss now is much more common and you get loads of green runes to disassemble for the for the currency. Um, but you have to break down, I think, two of the same currency to get the attributes maxed out on a on a on a um, on a rune, which is just a lot, because when you consider like legendaries, you're paying fourteen thousand. Um, I think guild tech or something. One of the currencies you pay fourteen thousand uh, to get a rune. So now I have to do that twice. So I think every two weeks I can get a one runes attributes unlocked. I believe it's just not a, a great process. So um, yeah. This needs uh, uh, maybe a potential way to reroll. Uh, it could also look at a way to maybe exchange rule uh, runes um, or provide more currency so we have more freedom with what we have. And you know, when we get a rune, we know we can max it out. So the the whole process from step one to step a hundred, it's it's pretty much laid out, and you understand how you go into progress as a uh, as a person. Because I knew before, right, that when I got my blues, my blues would become my purples, and I knew that, and that's what I did. I gave everyone purples, and then when I then I know from that point onwards any purples I get I can go ahead and fuse those purples and ta-da and in the case of where I got a bad purple and want to change it I had a chance to re-roll it so it means that as I just waited and got dust I would eventually see a possibility to upgrade it and get this aspect done but it's just not enough not enough compensation the runes need fixing uh, not the runes themselves just the process I feel like that needs to be more transparent as well because we don't know how this these processes will behave down the line, right? How long it will take. Uh, the other thing I want to talk about is artifacts. Um, so we made some, I made some uh, points before uh, in a, a Discord sort of suggestions and stuff that we we need more uh, more runes, uh, no, more artifacts that we can use, um, and you know the currency amount needs to go up. And they've done that. The currency that you get from a lot of things has gone up, right? So if you go to the store and you go to where you can buy your currencies, this is higher, right? 240,000 for 4,000, you get way more of this now, so that's fair, right? So you do get to level the, the runes up, uh, the artifacts more. However, these things are gating that quite a lot. So every month, I believe this is, um, I can't remember, I'm not going to reset it, but I think it was, it's quite long anyway. You get a couple of these. I don't see the hammer in here, which is the next thing I want to upgrade, but I don't see the hammer. So I don't know where I get that from. Uh, however, these I can buy and for a small amount. So I'll, I'll probably pick these up um, if there's any for the axe here. Turn of Fortress, Alpha Bringer. See, I don't know where the other ones are, but either way, uh, where are the other ones? I don't know. It doesn't matter. Right? It doesn't matter. What I'm saying is that the amount you get for these, for how much you need, is just not good. So if you go to your Thunder Destroyer, if you have it level 35 on a breakthrough to 35 out of 40, so it's still going to only be five levels, you have to have 220 of these. I have 50, and that was from the Realm of Tales. So it's not like I got it randomly from some other things. And I don't see a solid way of getting these. I know they're featured in things like the Prey Portal, but for free-to-play players or low spenders, you need to provide a steady way of getting these resources, and I just don't feel like that's the case. And maybe they're in the guild store. I can't remember. I, yeah, I don't, I don't recall. But it just feels like it's very much harder now to get it further. And sure, I can get all of these probably, up to out of five right but when you get them to five you're looking at 60 of this stuff all right to get an extra two slots and if you look and if you go in here look at that i can get some more of these even here where's this is the hammer but that means i need to get i get 10 every six thousand i have five thousand understand that you know you you'll buy some of this other stuff but you basically 
every one guild war and I think twice when the whole thing's finished you get a big bulk, bulk of currency you're only able to get maybe 30 or 40 of these um, and that's per month so where how do you expect you know to go from 170 more needed so I have so many more months now to wait to get my thunder destroyer up then I may as well leave it right but this the same thing happens if if that if that artifact wasn't leveled up to begin with right before my uh, before it was the changes were happened um, where would this be right would I be stuck on all of these maybe sitting at five or ten uh, ten maxed out and that's it. I feel like this is poor. This needs changing. The currency needs to be more accessible. I feel like right now I'm gated because I, I you know, I could get this experience. If I, if I was to go to Magic Expedition, which was much more difficult this time around. Um, but yeah, I just, yeah, this, this needs changing. We need more of the currency. I know it's in the shop, but it shouldn't be the case. These things should be accessible. Uh, it should not take six months to level up an artifact from 35 to 40. Because the same thing will happen again. So if I spend two months or three months, however long it would take for me to get the Thunder Destroyer pieces, I'm then back on the same thing as soon as I hit 40. And then that shouldn't be the case. I understand you don't want everyone to instantly max out their stuff, but I feel like if you've been playing for two months or three months, you should have one of these artifacts maxed out, especially how many teams you require in Guild War, how many teams you require in um, Advanced Arena, uh, double, triple teams in Campaign. It just needs to be better. I feel like they try to go the right way, but they are really trying to milk the money out of the uh, materials needed, and I feel like it's just really... Uh, just, yeah, not good. I don't like it. That's one of the things that needs to be changed. Um, this might be a long video, to be fair. Um, the other thing is people are annoyed, uh, annoyed that their heroes have become worse. And I feel like this is a point where in a game, which is basically a gacha game, um, nerfing heroes when people are already spending money uh, is just not how it should be, right? Um I feel like if you were to approach a game where you're trying to get heroes up in power, what you have to do is potentially um, go ahead and buff the ones that are weak. So the, the heroes that we as a community may rank as tier 3, you can bring them up to the power of tier 2 and maybe even get some of the tier 2 up to the lower sort of sector of tier 1. Uh, don't over buff because at that point it's pointless. If you were to make some uh, hero way, way stronger than the others, you basically nerf the others. Um, but even that would be a better... A better approach right making it where people have spent money and time in you know investing in for example tell and then making tell considerably weaker is just not the right way to do it and, and i know that they're trying to get the game up to a state where it's good in september however um it's not the way to do it it's not the way to to approach this i feel like if you're going to adjust some skills make it as strong as it was maybe take a different uh so a different way. If you're going to remove uh, Terence's survivability, increase uh, Terence's damage, make it where you have to strategize to keep him alive rather than just having him tank everybody and survive. Um, you know, he's not horrible at the moment, but it just feels like they need to work uh, around that. You know, if Patras was having trouble being a frontline tank, adjust these things to make him more tanky, adjust things that give him abilities to make him more survivable. Uh, any characters like Seth, make him more powerful in some fashion, more tanky if he's a warrior. If he's a damage warrior, then make him do more damage. But don't nerf characters. It's just not the way to do it. In a game where people have spent money, you're going to annoy a lot of people because some people have spent thousands and thousands of dollars, pounds, whatever euros on their characters and when you nerf them you basically say the money they invested doesn't mean as much and making it where characters over the star level of 11 only get three percent and that's it their skills are maxed out there's no way to go above is basically just as bad as uh, removing copies from people because uh, as people have invested their money into getting them to 13 stars or maybe even higher the higher part doesn't really matter because at that point the skills don't go up. But 13 star, if the people don't get uh, all the heroes back and have a choice to go down to 11 and not want to trade those copies, it, it's just unfair because people have spent, you know, 100 seeds in the tower to get one copy of a hero and have done that four times for, to get it up. And then you decide to refund them two to then what? To invest in three more percent? That's just not right. That is not right. And I think the other thing that people should be a lot more annoyed about, right, is the fact that their compensation for the Holy Fountain of Life was horrible, right? Because, yeah, seeds, you, you pay, 
either way you look at it, you either do 100 summons to get 5, or you pay 750 minimum in the ex Magic Expedition or get it from events, right? That's the cost. What you're telling people is the cost of one seed is either 1,000 gems or 750 on a discount where you have a limited amount you can buy. And then people that were on 90 out of 100 only get 100 per seed. That is just not right. It should have been a bigger compensation. Allow people to then take those gems and put them elsewhere. Because you can say, yeah, they got food, but then make adjustments that that clarify that. If you put a if you put a seed in for 750 or a thousand gems or 800, depends on if you do tens or whatever. Um, it just doesn't feel like it's equivalent. Um, I feel like people should be feeling like they got a good compensation for that at you know a good uh good level if you got 500 per each one that means they paid 300 or 250 or 500 for a fodder which makes sense because if you go to if you go to uh the store and you're looking at buying some of these you're looking at paying 2500 which is the cost which is you know a fourth of the cost of this which you talk about just getting fodder so you got to look at the shops and find the equivalent one and figure that out from there it, it should be higher i don't think enough people have been complaining about it so maybe people are happy all i lost is 11 c's that i put into it at that time but still i just don't feel like it, it was a really good compensation allow the people to get the currency from that and transfer instead of giving them gems um, give them prey portal coins maybe allow them to try and fetch that maybe give them enough to maybe get a copy at least so that's kind of the way to do it uh, or potentially give them uh, the people that have a certain amount out of a hundred give them a way to just pick a legendary of LS and of their own choosing uh, you know if they're sitting at 70 out of a hundred or, or out of a hundred plus give them that or something you know work around that I feel like that maybe wasn't the best um, anyway uh, a lot of people thought that they would get stronger, uh, but they got weaker. Uh, that is a big thing um, that will put people off a bit. So um, when people have an idea of how strong they are, if they go back into the same aspects of the game and they realize that they got weaker, it just does not paint a good picture. So if, uh, for example, for myself, uh, when I look at my Magic Expedition, uh, so far from the beginning of playing this account from the start, I have always, and I say always, hit 100. I have always th finished with doing a hundred stages cleared this time around my team was reduced so much that I have only stopped at 53 and I don't see myself progressing much further which means that that clearly is an indicator on how different the um, the power is and I know it really depends on what ha characters you had so someone may be getting further than they have before because their heroes were buffed and they didn't really have too many that were nerfed but it shouldn't be a feeling that people get from a game where you're trying to progress and make characters stronger for them to be weaker after an update uh, in a gacha game where they maybe put money or a lot of time into getting a ca single character up um, it just doesn't work well so some people have gone out uh, up uh, beyond and got their Terrence to 13 star the rest of their heroes are 10 star and now you but nerf Terrence their potential is now lower and they're in a very bad situation and I, that's the reason why you don't change characters too much in these games getting weaker is just not right when you go when your runes went from a certain stage down to another stage and you know your general skills of characters are different maybe combinations you had before are now all a mess um, you know your guild tech is another thing to really talk about guild tech <laughs> guild tech has become garbage so they removed a lot of crit rate crit damage uh, crit damage whatever stats from a lot of characters that is the most common thing i know is crit changes and they reduced something like your ranges down to you know defense and defense and hp flat and attack flat and then they added this attack percentage which i think maxes out 10 percent and they added some armor piercing which maxes out probably 10 percent or whatever it's just not enough um i feel like th this went to shit and if you're gonna make if you're gonna make this worse it, there are people that have invested money into this as well you know there's some people like arrow that put money into buying this currency on a daily basis from the store and now it's worth less so that's the the the, the annoying part and you know i feel like some of these things have reduced sort of the individ individuality of all of these like these should be adjusted more so for example warriors got percentage health which you know it matches these matches they, they need attack they need attack they need attack they need attack well priests don't really need attack i don't know why attacks there but um 
yeah, it just reduced the individuality. It feels like a lot of people won't get to all this at the end. So it's all the same thing basically for the first half, which is where most people will, will get. So it just feels like Giltek removed people's uh, investment in a certain class. Um, and I think people are saying they can't reset for free. I think I've reset this once before. So this is 2000 for me. This is still free for me to reset. So I think first time resets. So I reset this as well to, to move it from here to here. Um, but yeah, like... They need to work around that. It just it doesn't feel like it's like it's um, was a good transition. Uh, don't annoy people in that fashion. It buffed characters that are really really weak to bring them up to the level of others. Don't nerf the others. Guild tech changes. Guild tech was fine. Guild tech was good, strong. You removed power from that. Um, there's certain heroes that function on crit rate, and and that means you made it where they had a high crit rate now have a low crit rate. Runes have gone to crap. Yeah, it's just all piled up together, and you can see why people are annoyed. It's that so every aspect of the game was touched. You know, Holy Fountain of Life had some changes. The Guild Tech had some changes, right? The Archive had some changes. The Portal of Prey had some changes. The Arcane Forge had some changes. Magic Store got new items, but that's not one big to talk about, but certain things got moved around. Uh, the Summon Circle had changes. The Blessing Temple didn't. So on the screen that you're looking at now, all of these aspects, apart from Soul Altar and Blessing, have been changed. Right, so the wish list you have one less choice now. Um, you know, you have three instead of four because you used to get one every single week, and I, ha I know you get more options for these, but you require more less of these now than before because you're not aiming for 13 star. So, uh, you know, this aspect got changed. Um, this is a really high to reach thing to, to clear it. So, this got weaker. You get three, sure, and I was getting two for each character, and I could get four per month. Now I get three per month. So, every aspect got sort of nerfed uh, or changed. Where it's just not, uh, it, it's too much. It's too much of a change. So we're talking about here, every aspect apart from Soul Altar and Blessing Temple was changed in some fashion. Uh, here, not as much was changed. Um, it's all po sort of positive, right? So le this has both events running, more to do, that's fine. Uh, Endless Trial didn't get changed. It's the same thing. You just Your heroes just may be weak or strong. It really depends on what you built. Uh, Realm, Realms of Tales, the rewards were changed, but all of us have reached a stage where we don't care what's over here because we don't, we didn't get it. We didn't get these. Like, we didn't get these. Um, I don't know if you can go in and claim it now or something. I haven't checked, but... Yeah. yeah like, I had, like, I got those. I didn't. Um, and then, you know, this was added, the first stage, which is, again, uh, basically no time it took to do it so now this is all done so yeah <laughs> uh this not not too much was changed here mysterious realms is the same thing the rewards are hardly any different but they did add an extra two and a half thousand i think on this for day um yeah I, I'm, I'm blabbing on a bit but yeah maybe over time we will get stronger maybe over time when we invest in these runes and uh get the characters up that are better or find strategies around them we will get better but as it is now we are weaker and that's something that pisses a lot of people off and um I think the change for LS means you don't get the guaranteed. Now you got to go pray portal, but it means you know if we don't get any free uh, coins to roll, chances are most people can't do the pray portal uh, unless they're you know at least medium spenders because you need currency for all these things. If you know if this keeps coming around every three days, you have to spend 300 gems a day to to be competitive in the abyss, right? And get all the rewards you get from that. And then you also you know you're looking at you know this has gems to spend on uh the cost of this has gone up i think it, it went up to 200 instead of 150 or 100 i think it was 150 and free now it's 200 i think uh 100 and free so this cost went up uh you get a thousand more um yeah it's just overall some things some things got you know some things were improved there's no doubt about it they're better some things are worse i think there's more worse than better but you know people are just going to it's too much to handle at once and getting weaker in a game where you spent months in and certain characters just not being as good as they were or, or you know in the case of some people liking what a character did and now they no longer do it even if they were weaker it's just not a good thing either right gacha games and this balancing system it shouldn't be like league of legends where you're adjusting characters based on their performance it should be the fact that you should if you had a very strong and a very weak character and you can't you need to own up to the fact that you messed up and certain characters are stronger than others what you can do is buff some of the weaker characters don't touch the stronger ones people won't be sad that their you know 10 star patras is now actually worth something 
and people won't be too pissed off that people have you know got a stronger Patris. But when you work, when you nerf a character, it just does not come off right, right? Anyway, that's the end of the video. I there's other things to talk about. I just wanted to do a small rant video on it, sort of my thoughts on what 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 went wrong. Um, you may not agree with every point, you know, we may find out in a week's time there's some changes or we may find out that something isn't as bad as it is. Um, I just feel like some of these changes, like the Oracle thing where this is flat stats means nothing. When characters have 4 million health, who cares about this amount? Uh, you get 3 every time you get a star level up, which is nothing, so this is basically stuck. Um, these are strong buffs, but, you know, th th it's going to kind of slow to get this stuff, but this is not too bad. But yeah, this, is, this should give way more for how much you have to spend on it. You know, I got a character from 5 to 6 star, and I got 3 of this currency. I need 66 to get them up. Uh, this stuff in the shop costs 1,000 per 50, uh, I think 50 each time. So I won't have to spend another 1,000 to get this up by one more level to get 1.2k. Like, that's... Some of these scalings are just horrible. It's off. It's misunderstanding of how the game progresses and what people value. Um, you can't tell me that, you know, 13,000 health means anything to my Lionel who has over a million, right? 1.2 million health and you're telling me 13k is worth spending how many characters up? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's, it is, this stuff is, is rage-inducing. I feel like if you make something too underpowered or make something too overpowered, either it gets... Uh, a lot of focus or no focus and some of the aspects it just feels like it i can't see a way to progress in that in that in that aspect so the artifacts you know runes i, I find it hard to understand how i'm going to keep you know moving with it but anyway i'm going to end it here hope you enjoyed or at least uh, understand some of the points i'm making uh, we'll see if they change anything if anything gets changed but i feel like uh, you know speaking with the community as well as thinking for myself i see certain things that piss me off um you know like some people you know the whole rune uh, red rune aspect you can buy red runes uh, in the store uh, where, where is the monthly pack no kingdom benefit store no where is it i don't buy these i don't remember yeah, Kingdom offers like you can buy a red runes in the store here as well as this currency. Um, so red runes, but then how are you gonna get this up? Because you need red dust, so you're gonna have to buy multiple to be. So you have to break down two two red, so that's two hundred plus fifty. You're gonna spend two hundred fifty to just get attributes unlocked, and then you have to sink in all your stuff. Like th I don't see a way to get red runes, so that makes it more annoying. There's no rerolls. You can't take multiple legendaries and put it into a red rune. Yeah, so many little things that you we, we have uncovered over time that are just feeling like, oh, this is just not good. But anyway, I'm going to end it there. <sighs> it's a rant video, that's for sure. It's a rant video.